Hello, I am Dottie from the Writing Center. I'm going to share my screen now um, to show you some information about the Writing Center. Um, so my name is Dottie. I'm a faculty associate in the Writing Center. Uh, I've been here for about a year and um, I have a lot of experience teaching English as a second language and English as a foreign language. And my research is about how international students learn how to write uh, the things that they have to write when they are a student. And so um, I'm representing the Writing Center today, so I want to share with you all of the opportunities that we have for you to support you with your writing and help you tackle the tasks that you have to do. Um, so first, we have in-person meetings. Um, so we're happy to return to having in-person meetings this semester. Um, so these are one-on-one -on -one conversations with an instructor. Uh, you can come see someone at any point of the writing process. Maybe you got an assignment and you don't know what to do with it, or maybe you got uh, feedback from your instructor and you're not really sure what to do with it, or maybe you've almost finished writing your essay and you want someone to take a look at it. So at any stage in the writing process, before you started writing, when you're like basically done, we can talk to you about your writing. So we have our main center, which is on the sixth floor of Helen C. White Hall. But we also have satellite locations all across campus, um, college library, memorial library, and a bunch of different dorms. Um, so if you don't wanna come all the way to Helen C. White, we have, um, Lots of options for you. And if you'd want to see us from anywhere, you can do a virtual meeting. Um, so these are the same as our in-person meetings. Any stage of the writing process, you're just virtually meeting with us on our online platform from anywhere you want. Um, so that's a great opportunity to uh, talk with one of our instructors from anywhere you'd like. Additionally, we have written feedback. Uh, and this is where you upload a draft into our system. Let us know what you're concerned about with your draft uh, and we'll give you feedback. So this is an asynchronous option. You don't have to show up anywhere at any time. Just upload your draft and we'll give you feedback. So let me show you about how you might make one of those appointments. This is our Writing Center website. Uh, and you can go here to make an appointment. And so when you go here, it looks like this. So you have your, you'll log in with your net ID and password automatically. Uh, but we have three different schedules. Our in-person sc uh, schedule where you would meet us at our main center or satellites, our virtual meeting schedule and written feedback. So I'm gonna log in to see the schedule. So there's lots of information here about what to expect about your appointment and information about how to use this website. But if you just scroll down here, I can see for today, October 15th, I have one open appointment, which is at 1130, so in 20 minutes. Um, so I could make this appointment. Uh, and so we're asking you a couple of things here about what you're working on. So you just fill that out press create appointment, and then you'll be able to see your appointment here. Um, so if we just take a look at the in-person schedule for this week, we can see that these are all booked. So that's an important thing to know about the Writing Center is we do book well in advance of, of the day. So if you want a same day appointment, um, you might be interested in these orange boxes here. So these are our uh, satellite locations and these appointments become available on the day of the appointment at two o'clock. So on Sunday, October 17th, all of these appointments will be released so you could make an appointment here for Sunday. So we want to make sure that you do have an opportunity for a same day appointment because you won't always know that you want to see the writing center um, before you get started on your work. Um, so these evening hours at locations all across campus are available to make an appointment at 2 p.m. If I go up here, I can check out our virtual meeting schedule and see that also red means they're taken. So the next availability would be on Tuesday of next week. So in the, like a couple of business days. Um, so always thinking about when we can make those appointments in advance because our schedule does book up by the end of the semester with final papers and stuff, we'll be fully booked like a week and a half 
before um, the date. So you definitely, to use the writing center, you either want to make sure you check for those evening appointments when they're released at two o'clock or schedule well in advance. And also our written feedback schedule. This is where you would upload a draft, let us know what you're concerned about. Uh, and you can see there's not a time here. So it's it's for a, you make an appointment for the day, but not for any particular time. And I can see here our next available appointment is in four business days on Wednesday. So again, pretty booked in advance of the, the day. Um, so those are our one-on-one -on -one supports. I also wanna tell you about some of our other supports. We have a, a ton of workshops. And these are one-time lessons, not for credit, about different aspects of language and writing. Um, so you can go to our website and find all of our workshops here. And I can see the workshops and then I can register for them through the website. But I wanna call your attention specifically to some workshops. We have uh, lots of workshops for grammar. Um, so you wanna feel more confident that you're using all of, of the grammar that you know. So we have uh, a grammar series. Right now we're on grammar three clauses. That'll, that'll be next week. Um, but we have virtual and in-person options for those. Uh, also on the 21st, we have a workshop about paraphrasing. If you're not sure how to do that or wanna get extra practice with that. Uh, punctuation workshops, improving style workshop. And after our workshops take place, you can get all of the materials asynchronously. So the grammar one nouns and grammar two verbs already happened, uh, but you can find all the materials for those on our website after they take place. Um, so we have one-on-one -on -one support for you. We have um, workshops for you, and we hope that you'll take advantage of those. I'll just show you um, a little bit more here. So if you're an undergraduate student, you can just look over here on this side and see the workshops that would be good for you uh, and then register for them. So if I wanna register for grammar three clauses, I would go here and register. And then on the day of the appointment or the, on the day of the workshop, I would receive an email with my Zoom link for that. Um, so after the workshop, we would send anyone who's registered the asynchronous materials. Um, so, uh, Lots of ways to get all of this information from the Writing Center by attending in-person workshops, virtual workshops, or looking at the asynchronous materials after the workshop is held. And that's all I have from the Writing Center. Awesome. Thank you, Dottie. Um, now, if Sam and Lorelai want to jump in, Yep, I'll awesome. um, just share my presentation here. All right. All right, can you all see the presentation? Okay, great. All right, we'll get started then. So uh, I'm Sam Miller. Uh, I'm one of the language coordinators for GUTS, the Greater University Tutoring Service here at UW-Madison. And I'm here with my colleague. Um, Laurel, you wanna introduce yourself? Hi, I'm also one of the language coordinators um, here at GUTS. And I'm a junior, so feel free to come with any questions. Hopefully you can hear me. My internet connection's a bit unstable. Um, so we're mostly gonna be pre uh, presenting about GUTS's language programs today, um, but we're also going to touch on the other programs in academics and study skills. Um, and of course, if you all have any questions about those, you can ask us as well. All right, so first, I'm going to talk a bit about GUTS in general. So GUTS is a registered student organization. Um, we were funded by segregated fees. Um, and so we provide free tutoring to students and members of the AW community, along with study support. 
and all of our tutors are um, actually students or members of the UW community who are volunteering with us. Um, so it's the opportunity to get tutoring and be a tutor. Um, and then you can see down at the bottom there, we have nine programs in three focus areas. So two academic programs, four language programs, and three study skills programs. We actually just added the um, peer to peer mentorship program on the right there. Pretty excited about that. So yeah, um, now we're gonna talk a bit about uh, GUTS language programs to start. So uh, first, World Language Learners is the program that I manage actually. Um, so what we do is we match advanced speakers of a target language that is not English um, with someone who's trying to learn that language. Uh, we focus on conversational tutoring. So it's not so much like lessons and a lot of planning, but more like just sit down, you know, talk in the language and uh, try to improve your speaking and listening skills. Um, you do not need to be signed up for a language class in order to tutor with us in WLL or to be a 2D. Um, it's, uh, it can be individual or group tutoring. So uh, when you sign up, you decide whether you want to be in an individual group or with a group up to three um, other students. And our most common languages offered are French, German, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, and Spanish, you can see there. But we also do offer other languages. Those are just the ones that are most common and you're most likely to be matched. Um, so at this point in the semester, uh, we are really encouraging um, students to sign up to be tutors with WLL. Um, we have a lot of students signed up to be tutored in these target languages, um, especially French, Korean, and Spanish, um, along with Japanese. And so uh, we really uh, would love to have more tutors in those languages. Of course, you can sign up to be a 2D, um, but yeah, that's it, I think, for WLL. And then Lorelai is going to talk about our other language programs and a bit about our academic programs. Hi, so yeah, I'll start uh, talking about conversational English. Uh, basically, this program will match English learners with uh, either advanced or fluent English speakers. Um, usually, it's either one-on-one -on -one groups or groups up to three tutees. Um, and the minimum uh, tutoring duration is about one hour. Uh, basically, what you would be doing is uh, either conversing with your group members and conversational English, and you'll help practice those skills. And then, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm in charge of conversational English as well as LE language exchange, so you can come to me with any questions. And then, sorry, uh, conversational English, uh, Eagle Heights is where uh, tutors, they tutor elementary students in English conversational skills. Um, right now, they're doing it on Wednesday evenings over at Eagle Heights. And this provides opportunities for those in the UW Madison community to help practice their conversational English skills. And another great benefit is you get to learn how to create lesson plans with other tutors, and you can also build your resume skill area. And then language exchange. So basically, you'll be either to, you'll be both the tutor and the tutee. So you can learn a target language, for example, English, and you can teach someone else another language. So say for instance, uh, you're from China, you can teach Chinese, but you can also learn and practice your conversational English skills. Um, so those groups uh, meet two hours per week. And it's, yeah, it's just a great opportunity to facilitate uh, culture um, and just meet new people and gain new friendships.
Okay, so Academic Match and Drop-In are two of our academic programs. So both uh, have tutors who tutor in high enrollment courses like chemistry, physics, math, also foreign languages as well. Um, except for Academic Match, um, you guys will be either, if you sign up to be 2Ds, you can be matched in up to uh, uh, groups with eight tutees, including yourself, and you guys will be meeting two hours per week. And then for drop-in, uh, this is not, um, this is immediate short-term assistance. So you, if you don't want to um, have like a weekly commitment, you can just sign up to either be a drop-in tutor, or you can just uh, go to Steambox College Library, uh, uh, the Red Gym for uh, to get help in any of our high enrollment courses. And both of these programs have their schedules uh, posted on the GUTS website. Um, you can check that out. All right, thanks, Laura. Um, so now we're going to go over the GUTS website a little bit um, and how you sign up for GUTS programs. Um, so I'm going to click this link. Our website is guts.wisc.edu. And we're going to go over to the Guts website and explore how to sign up. So when you go to our website, you will see this to start. Um, here's our little uh, mascot guy. He's very cute. Um, <laughs> so let's say that you wanted to like, let's say you speak um, Korean and you want to tutor Korean for world language learners, which we just talked about. So you would go up to this Be a Tutor tab. And if you click, there's this drop down. And you can see all of our tutoring programs here. And so for that, you go to World Language Learners here. And then it'll bring us to the World Language Learners Be a Tutor page. And you can see a little info about the program, and then it gives a step-by-step -step on how do you become a tutor. And then over here on the right is a really important part. This is our tutor registration form. So if you just go through this form, that will ask you a bunch of questions about like what language you're tutoring, um, how proficient you are, when you're available, a um, couple of demographic questions. Um, it won't take long. And then once you fill that out, you're in our system for WLL and we'll match you with a 2D as soon as we can, uh, according to your preferences that you put in on this sheet. So yeah, it's pretty simple. And then down here, we've got some tutoring resources once you become a tutor. And then that's me. Um, okay, and then uh, we'll also go through maybe getting a tutor for drop-in. Um, so let's say you're struggling with uh, chemistry a little bit and, uh, you know, it's a couple days before the midterm and you want to get some help but not commit to a group throughout the semester. So you go over to this Get a Tutor tab, and then again, you can see all our programs here. So if you go to Drop-In, then you'll say Drop-In, Get a Tutor, give some info, and right here on the website is our tutoring schedule by location. So what did I say? If I'm looking for chemistry, you can see it's that blue there. I can see we've got chemistry tutoring at the Red Gym in the Multicultural Student Center from 2 to 4 p.m. on Tuesdays, um, from 12 to 2 p.m. on Wednesdays. And you can just kind of go through this schedule and see what location is best for you. Here's Helen C. White Library, uh, Steenbach Library. Yeah, so there's a couple locations and you can just see all the dates and times for these tutors. So yeah, that's a pretty um, simple overview of our, of our website. 
Um, there's also study support here. If you're looking for um, study support, we do offer that as well. We've got some guts resources up here. And if you go to about and our people, you can see the contact information for all of the guts coordinators like me and Lorelai. Um, and you can get in contact with us if you have any questions about guts. Uh, and there's also a frequently asked questions tab here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it about our website. And yeah, this is an email you can contact um, if you have any general guts questions or uh, the guts office, which is where I am now, is on the third floor of the Student Activity Center, which is on East Campus Mall. It's 333 East Campus Mall. Um, and again, yeah, we're just on the third floor right across from Student Print. So yeah, that's it. And we're open to taking any questions. Well, thank you guys so much. I have learned a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, if I can now open it up to Q&A session. Um, students, if you have any questions for any of the presenters um, today, uh, feel free to put in the chat or unmute yourself and ask the question and I'm sure we can answer it. We'll give you a few minutes to think. And um, if not, I also have some prepared questions that come up um, often, so. Oh, hi, professors. Um, I'd like to know if we can find um, the prior presentations by the writing centers and the past lectures, uh, especially those ones that are virtually provided in the past, um, where I could find these resources. Yeah, could you give uh, us some um, explanations about that? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, good question. Uh, I had to bookmark it myself because it's kind of hard to navigate to it the, through the internet. Um, so all of our past workshop materials are on Kaltura Media Space. We have a Writing Center channel on Kaltura Media Space. Um, so if you go to Media Space, you can search for the Writing Center channel and then see all of our materials. Um, so I sent a link there in the chat. Um, if you are registered for a workshop and let's say you didn't go, which is fine, you don't have to, um, but if you're registered for a workshop, you will get an email that has the link to that workshop on the Kaltura Media Space page. But if you want the ones that have already happened, they're just there at that link. And I would either, if you're in Kaltura Media Space, generally, maybe you can favorite our Writing Center channel so you can easily find it or just bookmark that page. And it's constantly updated with new workshop materials. Thank you. Yeah, I can hop in with a question. Um, I Something that I was wondered as a student um, with using the Writing Center was, um, like if I come in with a history paper or something like that, um, are, are the Writing Center um, tutors or um, are they like trained in that sort of thing, like English paper versus history paper versus um, a lab report, that sort of thing? Yeah, we have tutors from lots of different departments, but most of them are from English. Uh, and we are a generalist writing center, so we can help you with your resume for a computer science internship. We can help you with your essay for uh, your first year writing class. We can help you with a lab report. 
Um, so definitely we see every type of writing at every level in the writing center. We might not have every answer. So if you're coming with a history paper and you're like, oh, I wanna make sure my Chicago style citations are correct. You cannot assume that your writing center instructor will have memorized the rules of Chicago style. Um, so, but they know where to get all the resources and where to find answers to questions. Um, so they can, they're not going to be able to go through your paper and be like, this is the wrong use of Chicago, but they'll be able to show you, here's the, the style guide, let's go through it together. Um, and they also have a lot of questions. So if you're writing, um, something that they might be unfamiliar with. They'll probably ask you a lot of questions, ask to look at your assignment prompt, ask to look at a rubric, and help you kind of navigate all of those complicated instructions and help you make choices. Um, so it's definitely a conversation rather than teaching in many cases. Um, but if you're overwhelmed with what you're supposed to do and want to make sure someone else understands what you wrote, uh, we can always, always help with that. Awesome. Thank you. I can I can ask another question too for the guts folks. Um, so I know there's the drop in um, drop in appointments and stuff like that. But I I, I have to say this. Like um, when I was an exchange student in another country, speaking my non native language, doing presentations and that sort of thing, that was very intimidating. So I'm wondering if um, like presentation practice or that sort of thing is available to students. Um, yeah. Um, are you talking about specifically for languages or just in general? I think just in general. Um, I don't know if we have specifically presentation practice. Um, I feel like potentially our study skills programs could help with that. Um, yeah, that would be my best answer for you. That's a good question. Um, our, our study skills coordinators do presentations for student orgs or classes, or um, they do workshops around campus just around like, general study skills and how to be prepared and organized for school. So I'd say that was probably that would probably be a topic that they could explore. I don't know if they have done that before, but that's a really good question. Yeah. And you could come to the writing center with that as well. Um, in, it's a writing center. It's a communication center. Like you might want to look at your slides or talk about like how you want to transition from one slide to the next, or what how you can grab your audience's attention or just get feedback on your plan for your presentation. That's definitely something the writing center can help with because you it's it's written, it's a presentation, it's communication. Uh, we'll really work with anything. Awesome. That's great to know. Thank you, guys. <laughs>